Hello guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Raymond and on this video today I want to share with you guys the multiple time frame trading strategy. Now this strategy looks at the market with the best eye view. So you want to analyze the market from the monthly time frame down to the weekly time frame to the daily time frame and then maybe to the four hour time frame and maybe one hour time frame before you can now execute your trade all right guys so if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this kind of content and make sure to click on the bell for notification of more of my videos so at any time i drop this kind of epic content you will not miss out on any of them you guys can actually take advantage of our scholarship program where we offer you our full-blown forest course for free all you need to do is to click on the link in the description of this video and then you can be able to access that scholarship on your own part all you need to do is to show that you're serious by performing simple tasks and you'll be able to have access to that course and then also I'm also going to drop the link in the description of this video my recommended broker which I've been using for over five years so if you want to use them you can just check the link in the description of the video and use them i've used them for this long time and i've not had any issue i've trusted them over time so i kind of recommend it to my students and then to my community so if you care about you can use them if you want all right so having said that so i'm going to dive right into the onus of this video and share with you guys the exact stuff i have for you so i'm going to log into my computer and unveil everything so dive with me let's go inside hey amazing students welcome to this part of the course and what we're going to be looking at right here today is how you can trade on multiple different time frames or how you can trade on multiple time frames so that you can actually improve on your trading and having a better way of looking at the different time frames okay and um I'm just going to go straight to what I have for you guys and for example I'm actually looking at the gold chart and um, I'm looking at it on a daily time frame so basically you can see all these candles here what this simply means is that these are daily candles and these are candles that are actually form at the end of the day okay so it simply means that inside of these candles okay um you have like when you're looking at it from a four hour time frame it means that four uh 24 divided by four will give you like six so you have like six candles that will actually form to make one day and if you're looking at it um from the one hour time frame so it means that 24 candles actually formed to form each of these candles all right so now basically you understand this simple concept so how this actually happens is that you can see this particular candle now what happens is that it opened up here okay and went down to this point to form this week and also went up to this point this was a, this this is the highest point for the day and this was the lowest point for the day but where the candle actually closes is where you have the other candle starts to form okay so that's basically how to look at it so it means that for each of these daily candles that you have here it means that there are six um four hour time frame candles inside them or 24 one hour time frame and continue to divide it like that okay same thing when you look at it on the weekly time frame okay so for the weekly time frame it means that we have five daily candles okay because you trade monday to friday or like five days so depending on your different time zones anyway but you can see you have about five daily candles to form this uh, one weekly candle and you have about four weekly candles to form one monthly um, candle okay so basically when you want to trade using these different time frames okay your best approach is actually to start making your analysis from 
a higher time frame and then you move down to a lower time frame to make sure that the overall direction of the market is consistent okay and that is where you will want to take your trades in a lower time frame but your analysis starts from a higher time frame okay so for example looking at the monthly time frame so basically what i do is when i come on a monthly time frame i'm actually going to watch out for candlestick patterns so for example let's take a look at this so you can see this is bearish all the way down here and then we have these three candles so could this be a three white soldiers that's what comes to my mind because if you come to this article here when you come to this article here that talks about three white soldiers so you can see when you have a steady um downtrend here and then you have these three guys here and then after you have this other uh, bearish candle the potential is the uptrend direction so with this now i can just be looking out for so i'll be looking out for candlestick patterns on my monthly time frame okay that's what i do on a monthly time frame so basically what you want to do on your monthly time frame is to look out for candlestick patterns okay when you see candlestick patterns from there you can now infer and say this is most likely what might happen in the future so it will help you to infer even uh in months to come okay that is why it is good to start your analysis from a higher time frame okay so when i'm done with that on a monthly time frame the next time frame i'm going to move over to is the weekly time frame so i come over here on the weekly time frame and then on the weekly time frame what i want to look at for is the chart patterns i want to look out for chart patterns i want to see if i can see double tops double bottom head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder and things like that okay so i'm looking out for chart patterns on the weekly time frame so you can see right here now i can see something that looks like inverse head and shoulder right here so this can explain the reason why you have this bullish trend that occurred here okay so that is why when you come on the weekly time frame what you want to look out for is chart patterns you want to look out for head and shoulder you want to look at inverse head and shoulder you want to look at double tops you want to look at double bottom so that is exactly how to look at this market and analyze it okay and let me just quickly say this the reason why you want to um start your analysis from a higher time frame is this when you go to a lower time frame like maybe a one hour time frame or 30 minutes time frame okay those time frames the market can easily be manipulated okay and your support and your resistance level can be broken all right so what you need to do is you first of all want to get the overall direction of where the market is going to or the trend of the market and that is what you can get from a higher time frame like a multi time frame and when you come down to the weekly time frame it still corresponds with what you are seeing on the weekly time frame with that of the multi time frame so you can now move that again to the daily time frame and confirm the direction of that market before you can now take your trade maybe within the four hour time frame so like we saw on this particular good chart here on the monthly time frame the market was telling us that it's going bearish and now here on the weekly time frame we can also confirm this direction that this market is going bearish now let's look at what the market is saying on a daily time frame then right here on this daily time frame you can also confirm that this market is on a downtrend 
right? Now, see the sequence. For my monthly time frame, the market is saying downtrend. It came down to our weekly time frame. The market is saying downtrend. Now, on the daily time frame, it is still saying downtrend, right? So, you have found out or you discovered the overall direction of the market. So, what you now need to do is you now come to a smaller or a lower time frame to look out for sell opportunities. So, let's go to 4 hour time frame. And you can see on a 4 hour time frame now, the market is saying something like otherwise, it's saying um, it's bullish. So, if I'm to going to trade this market, I would wait for this market to come down a little bit and give me a definite direction. I know that this candle, the last um, 8 hours has shown me that this market is still on a downtrend okay so i would wait until this candle finish forming and shows a clear direction of a bearish market before i can take my trades now let me go further on a one hour time frame and see what the opportunity is saying at that point okay so you can see on a one hour time frame the market says that it is bullish so this can be very deceptive if you're not careful you would think that this market is bullish but our monthly time frame and our weekly time frame and our daily time frame have confirmed to us that this market is generally on a bearish trend so assuming i was analyzing this market earlier on and that was let's say i was analyzing it like um a couple of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours ago. Alright, because we already have 16 candles from here. Now, while this market was bullish at this point, I would wait for this candle to start forming on a bearish here. Because I've already confirmed that this market is on a bearish trend. So once I wait for it to come down somewhere around here. That is where I'm going to enter my trade. And just imagine we entered our trade at this point. You can see we will suck it down all the way to this point. Right? Okay, so the market would always give you the direction in which it is going. And for you to be able to find out, you have to follow this step. First of all, on the higher time frame, find out the overall direction of the market. Move down to the next time frame. For a confirmation okay i want to be able to confirm that direction then you come down to a lower time frame to look for and wait for buying opportunities or sell opportunities as the case may be whatever the direction of the market is at that period of time this is a really pretty very simple and not too complicated to understand once you get it into your brain like once you get a hangover of it you are going to really improve your trading. So looking at this market now, let's say if I take my Fibonacci from swing low here to swing high. Let's say I pick up my Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. Ladies and gentlemen, what this is saying right now or what I'll be looking at is I'll be looking at shorting this market all the way to this 50% retracement, all right? And once we break this 50% retracement here, okay, we are going to at least hit this zone here, okay? And if we also break it, that means I'm looking at coming down maybe to this point. Okay. So looking at this market now on a daily time frame, I can now um, put my stop loss maybe somewhere around here. Okay. And my take profit down all the way to this point. Because I have already confirmed that this market right now is on a bearish trend. All right. So... I can just place my um, take profit here and even though it might take 
time and I not come directly straight forward to this point but from what the market is doing okay this is likely where the zone i'm looking at is because you can see a lot of things that's happened around here okay this is a major level of um resistance okay so you can see it's right here and that's basically how to look at this market from a bird's eye view so you can see it is very very um, pretty easy and simple nothing very complicated let me just do a quick cap again like i said you go to the monthly time frame find out the overall direction of the market come down to weekly time frame confirm this and make sure that the market is still obeying that general direction then you come down to your daily time frame and that is where you draw your fibonacci and you set your target okay so having seen the direction of the market the overall direction of the market ladies and gentlemen this is where i am going to wait for this all right and once we break this level here then I'll be looking forward to the next zone right here. All right, so guys, that's just very simple way of using the multiple time frames to analyze your trades. All right, and I hope you guys really found this valuable. I'll see you guys in the subsequent videos. All right, guys, I hope you got some value from the content you just watched and from what I share with you guys. If you implement this strategy, I'm hopeful that it's going to help you in your journey as a forex trader and you become more profitable over time. Okay? All right. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if you want to take advantage of our scholarship program where you have access to a full-blown forex course, right? You can just check the link in the description of this video and you can get access for free. All you need to do is to show that you're serious by performing a simple task that is required. Okay? And if you want to use the broker that I use personally and that I recommend, also check the link in the description of this video and you'll be able to use them, okay? So that's how I'm going to wrap up today's content. And thank you for staying to this time. And I will see you guys in my subsequent videos. Bye-bye.